What would you like today? Yeah. I mean, it was different, you know, having a whole different staff, a whole different, like, usually I come in here, I know exactly what we're going to do. I could probably put the practice plan together. This is the first time that I, I was just kind of like, what, what's next? You know? It was fresh. You know, obviously, everybody had a little bit of rest. It was a little bit sloppy when we went live. Um, you know, but it was a, everybody went hard. So it was a good first day back. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I wouldn't say excited that there was change. But I think it's just that it's, it's it's fresh. You know, it's a new start. Um, sometimes when you haven't been a part of a new start and then it comes, you're like this is new. You know, for guys that didn't play a lot of minutes, they looking around like this is my opportunity to show that I can help the team more than I did in the past. Um, and for us, we learned in the new offense, we learned a new. Uh, terminology, things like that. So it's like it's giving us more of a, a reason to be engaged or more engaged than we would be usually coming in here like, all right, we're going to run thumb, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So um, it's been different in that way. You know, I think it's been a different level of energy because you know, it requires us to be a little bit more engaged. Um, and also guys trying to show like I can I can do more than I did in the past and also some of our new guys showing you know, why they should, they should be on the floor. Hey, Dave, I know it was only the first practice, but have you gotten a feel for, like, Chauncey's coaching style, his teaching style? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's been a little bit easier for me because I knew him before. You know, we, we talked basketball a lot before. Uh, and him coming out, it just, it just seems like a, a, player's, a player's mind. You know, everything is like, you know, smarter instead of harder. Like, why would you do this when you can just do this? It's like he's reading a game and thinking a game like a point guard, you know, that he is. So uh, it's different for me in that way. You know, when I watch, it's like I was thinking the same thing sometimes. And sometimes it's stuff that, like, I didn't think of. So it's, um, it's been a, a good experience just being able to talk basketball with him and go over things. And today it was, it was no different. Then when you came to the I think it's something that's like all this way to try Like, how much of that stuff does get? So a lot of it is. I mean, the NBA is, in some respects, kind of simple. Like, a lot of people run the same stuff. So, like, do you feel like there's a lot of changes in that regard? Or is it mostly, like, play calls and technology? It's a lot of changes. It's a lot of changes. I mean, what, what, the offense that we ran uh, my first nine years, it was like us in, in Dallas. You know, we ran similar offense. Nobody else ran what we ran. So it's a lot of, a lot of different things. But, you know, it's some things that we run, three or four things, where it's like, Okay, that was thumb quick for us. Okay, that was a way for like it's just certain actions that it might have a different name, but it's like I recognize it's something that we've done. Um, but it's it's definitely a different offense. Dane, uh, Dirk was super fit and seems very engaged. What do you see from the bar like really? I mean, I don't, it's just one day. I mean, <laughs> he do he does look good. But me and Dirk, we worked out. <laughs> Every every morning that I go work out with my trainer and do my conditioning and I live like me and Nurk are here at the same time. So I know that he is in, in good shape. Um, I know that he feels good. I think the the style that we're gonna play this year offensively, I think he can tell that it's gonna it's gonna fit him really well. So, you know, he I believe he is more engaged. Uh, also excited. So uh, I think he I think he should have a really good season this week. As far as uh, like preseason and your exertion level and whatnot, how are you planning on handling that? Do you kind of ease into it? Are you just 100% every day going back to it? No, I think I got to be I got to be smarter uh, more now than ever because last year I had I felt more hurt than I had ever felt in my career. You know, just throughout the course of the season, I played through a lot of injuries, uh, like hurt in the playoffs. But like when I got to the Olympics, I was really hurt. Like I couldn't. That was the most hurt I ever felt in my career, just playing in the Olympics. And when I came back from there, I, I sat out for like you know two and a half weeks and didn't lift. I didn't get conditioning. I didn't touch the ball. And then I had like the wedding, honeymoon. And I came back and like during that time, I sat out for 20 days. And that was like those are like the longest stretches of not training for me. So. Like, I feel fresh right now. Like, I think I, I was, like, nervous the whole time because I usually am always training, training, training. But I feel better now 
better start than I've built like over the last couple of years because of that, those breaks. So um, my my condition is fine. Like I feel good physically, and uh, you know I want to sustain that. I want to keep that. So I'm a. I'll probably, well, I will prioritize that over everything else because I feel good. So um, you know I'm not gonna run myself into the ground. You know, I'm not 24 no more. You know. So.